What's up, rascals? We only have a couple of days until the full version of Strange Terror from the Deep releases for everyone to enjoy. And I've noticed a couple people have asked to see the full monsters list. Uh, Dave hadn't made a video on it yet, and uh, we kind of in passing talked about it, and I said that I would make a video on it. I kind of procrastinated a little bit, but here it is for you guys. And uh, I took the liberty to try a, a smidge of voice acting while reading the bios. So I hope you enjoy. Hey, the amazing Rando. Watch Rando the Great construct sets with his very mind. <laughs> All right, so let's see who we've been up against. Boing. Haven't seen him yet. At least I haven't, I don't think. Ah, <sighs> anguish, you say. Robert Carlson was infected by an experimental virus he created. It mutated him into what you see now. There is no cure but death. Oh, this asshole. I've gotten bested by him a couple times. This creature, we dubbed the Atlantean Survivor, was found on the shore of Blum Bumble Beach unconscious. Unfortunately, not much is known about this creature yet. Batfish! I think he's my favorite of all of them. This humanoid fish man is so obsessed with the 1966 Batman television series that he dressed himself in a knockoff Batman suit. He's not much of a threat as long as he watches the TV show daily. Does that mean that there's going to be a TV to be able to play in here? Can I distract him by singing the theme song? Blobby. This thing was found dead inside a porta potty, but as soon as we touched it, it woke up and gobbled up one of our men. Thankfully, we were able to capture it after a long battle. Joy. Oh, hello, Krubby Claws. We meet again, you bitch. One of our co-workers thought it'd be funny to infuse his friend with a crab. So we did. Now we got this mutated abomination on our hands thanks to old Larry, who got fired the next day. Oh yes, the Devourer. This creature has an endless lust for blood. It keeps trying to kill our staff when we feed it, and it has attempted to escape six times already. We must get this thing out of here fast. I haven't run into you yet, but uh, you seem abominable and opposing for an old man. Larry Hawkins was one of our best men. He worked for us for almost 20 years, but unfortunately died from a brain tumor. But now he's back. I don't know how, but he is. And he's not the same. Ah yes, the gargantuan shrimp. You asshole! This shrimp creature was taken from the depths of the ocean unwillingly. Now he's pissed and wants to kill us all, but thankfully, the SS Deep Terror is transporting him to one of our clients. We can rest easy now. Thanks a lot, assholes! Well, Pete, I don't know what the hell this thing is, but I don't want it here anymore. As far as we know, it's a little crab dude that got nicknamed Lil Pete. Don't ask me why. And it likes to piss and shit all over the place. And it also likes to wreck my shit because it's killed me a couple times. This is the asshole that was dropping traps. Still don't know where he gets them from. I don't know, he, he could be pooping out for all I can. They might be false teeth. I mean, look at them. Believe it or not, this squid used to work with us, but eventually his experiments caused him to lose his sanity. Now he's locked away from the world and will be transported to one of our clients soon. I have a feeling these manifest bios are not from the crew of the SS Deep Terror. Mm, more like whoever hired the crew of the Deep Terror to uh, transport these batches. The Mangler. This creature wouldn't allow us to get up close and examine it, but it told us it was one of the oldest of its kind. Apparently its brethren are looking for us to try and end our little reign of terror. 
Whatever that means. Could be some environmental thing. It could be that uh, we stole his pez. Ah, oh, yes, Medusa Zoa. We meet again. And thanks to this bio, I now know that it was my own fault for running into loose electronics and wires and shit. The, she manipulates them. See, look. Our scientists have discovered a new breed of large jellyfish that lives deep in the Pacific Ocean. These jellyfish are somehow able to tap into any exposed electronics to zap anyone near it on demand. And that's what she did every damn time. I ran right into some loose wiring and she was like zip and I was like <coughs> Puffy Haven't run into him yet. Puffy was created for the sole purpose of being a companion. A replacement for a dog of sorts. But it seems to have gotten a taste for human flesh and prefers that over algae or clams. We'll just have to give him to one of our clients. Yay! Another one I haven't seen yet. Maybe uh, maybe it has killed me and I just didn't see it because I was cowering in fear under a table. Experiment 024. Since the whole crew got twice as drunk celebrating both New Year's and Johnny's birthday, they decided to mess around in the lab and infuse Johnny with a shark. Poor Johnny. I am never drinking with co-workers again. And the abducted. Lorraine was a 27-year-old pregnant woman who was kidnapped and gutted by a group of merciless killers. Her body was cast into the sea and was never seen again. Until now. I think that's the most morbid backstory for a creature that I've ever heard you make. Maybe. And for the rare creatures. Haven't seen you. You killed me. You killed me and farted on me. You killed me. You haven't shown up, nor have you. I would definitely know. Oh, the fish freak mutant. I thought the salvaging crew had killed this thing when they returned to the SS Strange Terror, but it seems as though it escaped and mutated into something horrid. We caught it back in 1968, but I fear it'll escape again soon. What is that accent? It's kind of a mishmash. That's not ominous at all. Taco Timmy. Age as old as the joke. An inside joke that escaped from the Dave Microwave Discord server. Whatever that is. We barely got our hands on this monster. The Unkies are tough SOBs. But at least we were able to capture this one. I'm sure our clients will pay well for this one. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Sometimes evil laughter is hard to suppress. <laughs> Nosferatu. Yes, this is the Nosferatu. We found his coffin inside an old castle from the early 1800s. And guess who was sleeping inside? Count Orlok. This man's dangerous, though. Make sure he stays in his coffin and never escapes. And... Baldy. Don't let this normal looking teacher fool you. He's a madman who loves challenging people with simple math problems. Everything was fine until one guy got two divided by four wrong. This caused Baldy to go on an insane rampage. Oh boy! And that, rascals, is every monster you will face in Strange Terror of the Deep. If there's one thing we've learned from this, it's that my voice work needs a lot of improvement. Nevertheless, I do hope you guys enjoyed this. If you did, let me know by giving that like button a bop. Leave some comments down below. And don't forget to show Dave Microwave some love for making this awesome game. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Hopefully, it'll amaze.